Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment in my Emacs for Writers series. By now, I hope you're starting to see that while Emacs may be a little idiosyncratic, there's really nothing to fear, no big deal. In this video, we're going to do some basic file management and text navigation in the buffer. So stay tuned. We're about to get into it. Before we begin, I will mention that this educational series is based on my Emacs for Writers handbook. If you want to follow along with the text, there's a link below where you can download the DRM free ebook, which is now in a recently updated second edition. So check it out. All right, on with the video. Some key concepts we'll be discussing Dear Ed for file management, practicing navigation without arrow keys. Movement granularity by character, word, and sentence. The sentence definition in Emacs. What does Emacs consider to be a sentence? We're going to take a look at that as well. All right, so the default file manager in Emacs is the directory editor, also known as Dired, Dired, or Dired, depending on how you want to pronounce it. It's just like the file manager in your Mac or Windows operating system that lets you open folders and files, create folders, click and drag files in and out of folders, and uh, create and edit, delete, and stuff like that. But because Emacs buffers are text-based, you don't have the actual graphical folders to click on uh, like you see in the, the customary file manager you'll see in most operating systems. So in my Emacs buffer, I can do Control X, Control F to find a file. That will do the same thing. Or I can just do Control X and D to, um, to open up DRED and then give it a directory and just jump in. So this is the home folder. The same thing you're seeing over here in the normal file manager you see is uh, all text-based. The directories, which I'll call directories from now on instead of folders, uh, will be highlighted uh, differently than the files, depending on what kind of theme you're using. This is the default Emacs theme, so you see the directories are blue. There's also a lot of uh, metadata in Dured that uh, we can ignore for now. And of course, there's ways to customize Emacs to not show all this extra information. Though in some contexts, this can be pretty helpful to you. And Dured can do a lot of powerful things that you'll learn over time. Uh, but for now, just the basics. Uh, you can use the normal Emacs movements like Control N and Control P to go up and down lines. Uh, but in Dured, you can actually just use N and P without the Control key to go up and down by line. And of course, you can create directories with uh, the plus sign. You can see it'll prompt me for a path to create a directory as well. And I actually created a directory in advance before the video. You'll see it's this test directory here. So if I press enter, I go into that directory and I've got a basic text file in here. And you'll also notice that Emacs creates these uh, backup files here or ghost files as they're sometimes referred to. Uh, these are backup files that you can use to restore a file if, uh, if you didn't save something or if the program quit on you. Um, so they're a good thing to have, but they can kind of clutter up your uh, your directories here. So you can actually have Emacs turn those off if you want. Okay, now we're going to look at some basic navigation here. And I'm going to turn on visual line mode so that those paragraphs wrap nicely. So moving around in Emacs uh, may seem a little strange at first if you're just starting out. You can use the arrow keys and the mouse just like you would in any other text editor, but it's a good idea to start uh, getting familiar with the key bindings for getting around. So as I mentioned, control N will go down by a line, like N for next line, and then control P will go up to the previous line, P for previous. And you can go back and forth by character with control F and control B. And uh, what I use a lot is forward and backward by word, using meta F to go forward and meta B to go backward by word. I find when I'm editing around in a document, it's, uh, it's much easier to move around by word if I'm actually reading, reading it back to myself while I'm editing it. And of course, meta A will go to the beginning of the sentence and meta B will go to the end of the sentence. But you'll notice if I go down here, uh, meta A drops me 
to the beginning of this paragraph, which is expected because that's also the beginning of the sentence. But if I hit meta E, it dropped me to the end of the paragraph. So the difference being in this paragraph here, there's only one space at the end of each sentence. And in order to use the sentence-based functions in Emacs, you've got to do two spaces. And you can change that, but I find it's just fine. I leave it the way it is and just do two spaces. And I've gotten used to that by now, so it's really no big deal. Now, those are some of the, the main ways to move around. You'll learn more as you go. Uh, but as you can see, basically, to give you the gist of it, uh, Emacs gives you much more granularity, more options in how you can choose to navigate around your document. And uh, as I mentioned in a previous video, uh, going through the Emacs tutorial on movement is a lot of help. That's Control H and the T key. If you want to go through that again, uh, I highly recommend that as well. Uh, but that'll be it for this video. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you like the video and want to see more. And uh, be sure to share it with anyone you think may get some value out of this uh, as you have. So thank you for watching. See you all next time.